Hello friends, and welcome to Bible Bedtime Stories. This episode is called Baby in a Basket. Baby in a Basket? Who would put a baby in a basket? Desperate times call for desperate measures, Billy. Remember last week when Joseph and his family settled down in Egypt? Well, time had passed and Joseph's family multiplied. So much so, they were more like a colony than a family. Oh, you mean like the Reddicks? Uh, kind of. They were known as the Hebrews, but the Pharaoh didn't care about them or what Joseph done. So he put them all in slavery. And because there were so many, he had all the Hebrew baby boys killed. What? All of them? Yep, except one. One that God had chosen. His name was Moses. Now let's begin. What's the dealio with business out there? Well, my lord, um, business is booming as ever. The price of grain is up 0.4% on the market. Good. Camel Good. prices are up, and our slave Good. numbers are second to none, sir. Second to none. Second to none? And will it be a second to none when one of them starts to revolt and overthrows the very cause of Egypt? They're like bees. They work hard and are seemingly harmless. But a swarm of bees can be extremely dangerous when provoked. No. All of the Hebrew baby boys will be wiped clean from the face of the earth. It will be so. It's been three months since Pharaoh had the baby boys thrown into the Nile, and I cannot have my baby any longer. So, Lord, I commit him to you and to the river. Goodbye. What's this? A Hebrew child? We must take care of him. Did you wait? Did Moses' mother ever get to see him again? Yes, she did, because she was the one who was hired to look after him. Isn't God great? When we give him things, he gives us them back. Just have faith, like Moses' mother did. Hmm, what does Moses even mean? Moses sounds like the Hebrew word to take out. He was called this because he was taken out the river. But he was also called this because he was the one to take out the Hebrews from Egypt. Wow. But that's it for today, friends. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week for another Bible bedtime story. Say bye, Bailey. Bye.